Hey, it's David Brody from the Elvis Duran Morning Show. I'm your host of the Brody Blog, and if you're a fan of Bush, the band, and of course their lead singer, Gavin Rossdale, I hope you'll enjoy my interview. After a few years off, his new CD, Wanderlust, is out. It's a solo album. He's back out on tour. I just saw him at the Hard Rock Cafe in Manhattan. He was great. His band is tight. Check out his website, GavinRossdale.com or MySpace.com slash GavinRossdale for tour dates. Let's get started. Hey, this is Gavin Rossdale, and you're listening to David Brody. Gavin Rossdale. Gavin, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you doing? This is a big time in your life right now. You have a new album out. Yes. Yes, I do. Wanderlust. Very, very excited about that. It's got an interesting title, and uh, I read a bunch of different things as to why you chose that name. Mm -hmm. uh, what, was your, what was your thought process? Do they all say it? the same thing? They all say the same thing. <laughs> I better change it up now. Yeah. The, you know what? They, they basically say that this is a journey for you. Yeah. It's not just you went in to record an album. This, is, this tells a story, and it, it musically travels a, across a bunch of different themes. Right. That's impressive. That's, uh, that's good. I'm, I'm glad people are saying that. <laughs> I am just pleased to, uh, obviously, having a record out, and The Wanderlust really is about getting back out and playing, doing shows, something I've missed doing. You were in a very successful band, Bush, of course, everyone knows you for that. You've gone out on your own. You, this is a solo record for you. Right. And I, I think I've heard this story before. I think your wife did the same. Right. Uh, Gwen Stefani, of course, she was with a great band. Went solo. Are you hoping for a similar run as she had? She was very successful. <laughs> That's aiming pretty high. I don't know about that. That might be setting myself up. Well, how about our own line of clothing and handbags? <laughs> Obviously, except mine would be sport bags, right? Nice. I I look at it like uh, people that have come from from bands and, and had solo careers more more in a way through history. I think it's just about trying to make a good record and um, and and bring that out. So it doesn't really matter. Your website is great, which is, of course, GavinRossdale.com. Right. Your MySpace page, MySpace.com slash GavinRossdale. You've got a teaser video yeah. that's phenomenal. Yeah, thank you. That kind of previews some of the music in mm -hmm. a brilliant way. And I kind of I wanted to ask you how that came about. Well, thank you for uh, uh, noticing that. It's a film that, that we did, like a trailer, to preview the record, as opposed to just a straight-up video. If you haven't seen it, you need to go to your websites and see mm -hmm. it and take a look at it. Yep. But just to summarize, you're in a car, and there's a radio playing... And it keeps going in and out of your songs. You yes. get out of the car, the door yeah. closes, the music gets muffled. Yeah. There's something in the trunk. I don't want to say what it is, but I was on edge watching it. Nice. Wondering what's in the trunk. Nice. And then I thought, he, geez, he's ruining that Mercedes. You should be a little more careful with it. You that. know, I, try, I, I, I offered, I was like, do I have to smash the Mercedes up? Uh, because I felt bad for the car that survived quite a long time until I'd come along. But um, anyway, that's, that, that's showbiz for you. Yeah, well, the first single off the album, right. Love Remains the Same. The video, which is on all of your websites, yes, ladies, just a little note: you're at least topless in the uh, in the video. <laughs> well, you know, we we didn't have much uh, enough uh, film stock, so we had to get me whilst I was in the shower as well. Okay, save on wardrobe yeah, as well. Save on wardrobe. So it was a, it was an ecological decision, not burn too much film. Okay. Well, I noticed in the video you're you're chopping vegetables or something with a yeah, knife. Yeah, it's meant to be like you know uh, you know guy loses spends the day alone. Okay. Well, you actually cook at home, correct? Uh, I've, I've been known to... to uh, I'm good with knives. Well, I understand your wife isn't. I saw an interview you did where you said she is not allowed in the kitchen because she's dangerous. She's dangerous because she cuts, her, she's, you know, cuts herself with the knives. Yeah. Now, New York is one of the greatest places in the world to eat. Also a good place to have a knife on you. Oh, yeah, both. <laughs> a sharp one. Yeah. <laughs> this is David Brody. I'm talking, of course, to Gavin Rossdale, whose new CD, Wanderlust, is in stores now. In stores now. In stores that. now. I've been waiting a while for that. For you me. have been. That, that's got to sound great. In, in stores, stores now. now. When you first make the record and you're giving it to people that are around you, friends and people you work with and people you're close with, it's a great time. Uh, and then when it comes out, there's a sense of vulnerability with it because, you know, certain people can kind of kill it or kick it mm -hmm. or love it, you know, do what they want with it. But it does mean that, that you're into the real deal now. How influenced are you by... The people around you, your your family, your friends. If they don't like something, would you change it? Um, yeah, there's a few, there's a kind of core group of people for sure. That if there, if someone really uh, objected to something, then uh, then I would I would you know think about it. But I, I listen, and yet at the same time, you, you got to have a focus as to what you want to do and, and, and a direction. There's an old expression we have here in America, and I don't. I guess you've heard it. Women want him, men want to be him. I can't think of a better example of that than you. Wow. You're someone who arouses women's curiosity, shall we say? Nice. 
And then the men are looking at you going, all right, he's a rock star. And he's got a great marriage to a superstar who happens to be beautiful and uh, an adorable child. So, yeah, they have a new album out. It's pretty good right now, right? So, yeah, I wonder why some people want to, like, get me with those knives. You never you know. Some yeah, people, I would imagine there's might, some jealous that people. That might make some people throw up, you know. Yeah, but you still got to pinch yourself every day. Of course. We're having a great time here. The women are outside all staring through the window. I have people coming in on their day off today. Nice. Interns that aren't supposed to be here. Well, it's such a nice building. There you go. Uh, the album Wanderlust. Mm -hmm. If a Bush fan were to pick this up, do you think they'd be surprised or would they just assume this is where Gavin is right now? Well, I, I, the emphasis would be now because, I mean, for me, it's like making a record is just a recording of a specific time. It's a reflection of where you were at when you recorded that song, when you wrote that song. It's definitely someone who liked Bush. Um, I made sure there's a few pure rock songs on there so it's not like people be completely lost. The fact of the matter is that I sing a certain way and, and when I wail and play guitar full out, uh, it, it pretty much it can't help but sound like Bush because that's, that's me. Right. Good. Very good. Well, the first song off the album is called Can't Stop the World. Your record label wanted you to change it to something you didn't really like. And I love your explanation as to why you, you held on to this as the title. I wrote it as Can't Stop the World. What I think is funny is if, yeah, if it was a single and it had a poster, it would say, Gavin Rostell, Can't Stop the World. Say, I like that. I like that. It's, a, it's, it's inspiration. But Can't Stop the World. It's a little more a empowering. More chutzpah. More heat. I love that. Uh, I think you've been chutzpah, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've always said, is it? It's chutzpah. Uh, yeah, there's a ch letter that in uh, Hebrew that doesn't exist uh, uh, in our alphabet. But I've been saying chutzpah my whole life. Chutzpah. You know what? Chutzpah. I'm thrilled you even know the word. Chutzpah. That's great. How do you say it? It's chutzpah. Chutzpah. It's like Hanukkah. Hanukkah. And uh, chalushis is a bunch of words. It's a, but chalushis. Chalushis. That means just awful. Just, oh, oh it's, she looks chalushis. It's just like, oh. oh, don't go near her. Yeah. But if you said it in a rap, if it, you know, if you said it in a rap context, would it mean amazing? Would it be the opposite? Like yeah, absolutely. Like if you could get like 50 Cent to say that on stage, that'd be great. Nice. Wanderlust out in stores now. Gavin, thank you so much for coming by. Thanks for having me. It was my pleasure. I've been a fan for a long time. Well, that wraps up another Brody blog. Remember, you can always email me at zoobrody at gmail.com and let me know what you thought. Thanks for listening to the blog, and thanks for listening to Elvis Strand in the Morning Show. Peace out, everybody. The Brody blog is property of Clear Channel Communications and may not be rebroadcast in any medium.